Hi everyone, my name is Zach Miller and uh, your teacher Mrs. McHale reached out to me recently to see if I could do a little bit of a collaboration uh, with you guys and what you're learning about uh, George H. Cook in class. Uh, a little bit about myself is I'm actually, I was a student of Mrs. McHale when I was in third grade at Sand Shore and that was quite a long time ago, um, but that's awesome and I graduated from Mount Olive and then I went on to Rutgers and I studied at a Cook College and now they call it SEBS. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what he did to help the university uh, fund agriculture uh, and to, to help with the, the science of agriculture and learning more about what's important just other than planting seeds. Um, and what I want to do is I wanted to turn you around. Uh, I'm a farmer here and let me see. Uh, and so I've got you guys out here in the orchard this morning with me. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about science and how George Cook really helped Rutgers to uh, extend its agriculture program. Uh, he was pretty critical in allowing the university to become the state land grant. And that allows the federal government to fund uh, the school into advancing agriculture and learning new technologies, um, promoting anyone from a basic gardener at your house all the way to the farmers like myself to uh, increase what we can do with our crops and, and grow better things for everyone to consume. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the science of what I learn here. Um, and as you can see, these are apple blossoms, all these pink and the white ones here are, uh, they're actually open and I expect these pink blossoms to probably open tomorrow when it's warmer out. And what I wanted to talk about is some of the science we learn from Rutgers is, uh, as you can see here, this branch is a vertical, right? And what we did last year with some of these branches is we tied biodegradable rubber bands to the branches and what we did is we pulled down a vertical branch like this and bent it down as you can see here and what that does is it uh, changes the hormones in the plants so then it, it, it encourages this limb to to put on buds to shoots and uh, each bud could be a potential apple and in this case these are uh, honey crisp apples and i'm sure some of you might be familiar with them and um but that's just some kind of science that the state universities do to help us uh, be better fruit growers and, and growers in general. And so if we didn't uh, tie this branch down with that rubber band, the branch would continue to grow upright like this one. And as you can see, there's no blossoms on this branch at all. Um, and this is just one that we probably missed or the, the, the band that fell off. But uh, just some of the science behind some of these things is pretty interesting, I think. And uh, and as you can see, these these branches that are below horizontal, not vertical, are loaded up with flowers here. And um, and so that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of things that, if you think about, George Cook really did to encourage um, to encourage agriculture and to learn new techniques to help us be better farmers and gardeners. And so uh, basically what I wanted to also touch on was being that Rutgers is now a state land grant university, all that research and the funding that goes into uh, the students and the professors at the university to uh, do new research that allows us to get uh, very new information on how to grow, in this case, apples, um, but anything and everything from strawberries to lettuce to broccoli um, to peaches, to pears, uh, all the stuff that you guys probably enjoy and, and eat yourself. Um, so there's kind of a lot that maybe if, if George Cook hadn't done uh, his lobbying to get the land grant university at Rutgers, um, maybe another university would have gotten that, that knowledge and they wouldn't have been able to extend it to people in New Jersey as well as Rutgers did. Um, so I think there's kind of a lot to be said about what he did for Rutgers and uh, also agriculture in general uh, in terms of continuing education. And, and as farmers, we're always trying to learn the newest trends and the best ways to grow our produce that's safe for ourselves and for, and for you guys, the consumers. Um, so uh, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your session learning about George Cook and uh, have a great day, guys. All right, thanks. Bye.